Hi, and welcome to Code Tutorials. Today we'll be taking a look at the rating widget from the key add-ons for Elementor Premium plugin. This widget allows you to easily customize the way you display star ratings, creating entirely custom elements that match your style perfectly. Whether you use it to add a star rating to your reviews and testimonials, or to boost your products, the Rating Custom widget will give you ultimate freedom in terms of looks and styles. And, on top of all of that, it's super easy to set up and use. This page we're on gives you an idea of what you can do and what your rating could look like. You can pick the size, fill, color, and more. But, rather than spoil things ahead of time, let me show you how it works directly. If we head over to the back end, this is the page I'll be working on. And, as you can see, I already prepared the section where I'll be putting my rating element. This is here to provide some context. I have a section background, and then an image on top of that showing a product. And below that, a text editor element with some text content. So, it looks like a product highlight. And to complete it, I'm going to add a rating element under everything else. To do that, I'm going to search for the widget in the Elements menu. Simply start typing, and there it is. Drag it over to the page. Alright, this is the default widget look. We have these five half-filled stars in black. Now, the first thing you can change is the layout. We have split and standard. I'm going to stick with standard for now, but I'll be showing you later on what the split looks like and how it differs from the standard. After that, we have the rating option. Think of it in terms of percentage fill for the stars. Right now, it's 50, so they are half filled. If I move the slider, we can see how the fill increases. I'll leave mine at 60%. So we have these three completely filled stars and these two empty. This will let me show you the different options for filled versus empty when we start in on the style tab. Alright. Next, we have the marked icon field. This is where you can pick what icon you want to use in your rating element. You can upload a custom SVG or use something from the icon library. If we open the library, we'll see the icon that's selected by default. And while there are a multitude of possibilities here, I'm going to use an SVG instead. I have a specific one ready for my plan design. Insert. Alright. I'm going to fix this messy overlap as soon as I upload an SVG for the unmarked icon field. But first a brief explanation. The marked and unmarked icons are actually layered, the marked over the unmarked. And that's why it's important that you pick icons that have the same dimensions, so that they would fit neatly one over the other. And to that end, I'll now change the unmarked icon. I'll use the same SVG, so just insert media. And there we go, a nice neat star rating. Now, don't worry, I'll be adjusting the icon colors later to reflect the rating value I want to show. By doing this, you can use one icon as both marked and unmarked. You don't have to find or create separate icons that will be filled in and outlined. Okay, so this is mostly it for the content tab. We have two other sections here, the developer tools, which when we open it has just this one option. If we switch its setting to yes, it will display the widget in the form of a standard WordPress shortcode, which we can easily copy for use elsewhere on our site. And under that we have the help section. There are no widget options here, only links to helpful resources such as the link to the widgets page, the key themes demos, and our help center. Alright, that's it for the first tab. Now we can move on to the second one, the style. The first option here is for setting the alignment. The rating can stay on the left, or we can move it to the center or right. I'll set mine to be in the center. Then we have the spacing option. It lets us space out the individual star icons, as you can see here. I'm going to set 4 pixels for this. And in icon size, you can type in a value or use the slider to increase the size of the stars. For mine, I'll set 60 pixels. That looks quite nice. After that, we have the marked color. This is for changing the color of the stars showing the rating. The filled ones, so to say. 
I'm going to set a shade of red here to match my background image and the product I'm showcasing. Perfect. And alongside that, we have the unmarked color for adjusting the color of the remaining stars. I'm going to set, again, a color that will go well with my product image. There we go. And that is it. The only tab left, Advanced, has several useful options for responsiveness, positioning, entrance animations and more, but since it's available for all Elementor widgets and not unique to our rating widget, we won't be covering it in this tutorial. So, we covered all the options we have for the rating widget. But before we finish up, I promised to show you the other layout you can use. So, let's go back to the content tab and switch the layout from standard to split. And there we go. This layout puts the focus on the filled stars in the rating. And if you choose to stick with it, you'll have one more option in the style tab. It will help us change the size of these smaller unmarked stars. The option in question is this, icon split size. It's very straightforward. You can use it to modify the size of the unmarked stars, whether you want them to be smaller or larger than their marked companions. And that's it. I'll switch back the layout to standard, as it's the one I want to use for my chosen design. Perfect. And I'll hit update as my element is done. Now we can see how the finished design looks in the context provided by the other section elements such as images and text. The icons I picked are here as well as the style settings I wanted. As you've seen, the widget is very straightforward. If you need any inspiration on how to use it, you can take a look at the page we started from and see the different design variations you can make and how you can use and combine the rating widget with others in the key add-ons collection. Now that you know what options you have and how they work, you can set up ratings for your product, services, testimonials, or anything else you think of in moments. Hopefully, you found this tutorial on the rating widget from the Key Addons for Elementor Premium plugin helpful. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please drop us a line in the comments below. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel and be the first to learn about new theme guides and tutorials. Thank you for watching.